The Cold War is cold because there was no real action taken. It was not a war by a traditional meaning. There were regional disputes in places like Korea and Vietnam. The leaders of the United States, Britain, and the Soviet Union met at Yalta, near Crimea, a resort town in Russia. It was during these meetings that Stalin promised to hold free elections in the portions of Eastern Europe that were under his control. Stalin realized free elections would result in non-communist governments around the Soviet Union. Stalin wants to build protection for the Soviet Union. After establishing this protective ring, he wants to propel the Soviet Union to be a dominating power in the world. Winston Churchill, speaking in Missouri on March 5, 1946, says, An iron curtain has descended across the continent. Behind that line lie all the capitals of the ancient states of Central and Eastern Europe. All these famous cities and populations around them lie in what I must call the Soviet sphere. As you can see in the picture, the Iron Curtain has descended. The Soviet satellite nations rule throughout Eastern Europe, and the Allied alliance of World War II is over. So, how can the United States stop the expansion of communism? Truman's policy of blocking communist expansion was known as containment. American dollars built new factories, schools, hospitals, bridges, railroads. The question becomes, can we fight communism by building up other nations? Germany is divided into four zones, with each country getting control of a zone. Berlin was also divided up into four zones. In 1948, the Western Allies want to reunite Germany. Stalin disagrees and sets up a blockade around Berlin. This prevents supplies from reaching 2 million residents of West Berlin. By doing this, Stalin hopes the Allies would let him have West Berlin. Instead, they set up airlifts to deliver supplies to the people. They drop supplies in. This lasted almost a year until Stalin lifted the blockade. France, the United States, and Britain combined their zones into one country called the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany, and the Soviets had the German Democratic Republic, the GDR, or East Germany. From 1961 until 1983, the population of West Germany dropped approximately 340,000 people. Over time, a wall was built to separate the two Germanys. This division lasted about 28 years. The Berlin Wall was a symbol that stood between communism and freedom. It was a symbol that stood for communist oppression. As the Cold War nears its end, the wall finally does come down. And on June 12, 1987, as Ronald Reagan so famously says, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. The United Nations consists of a General Assembly and Security Council, which is more powerful and consists of 15 members, five which are permanent, the United States, China, Britain, France, and Russia. All the permanent members must agree for action to happen. The goal is to maintain peace and settle international disputes.
the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also known as NATO, consists of the United States and other Western nations. An attack on one member is an attack on all members. They are trying to discourage Soviet attack. Did we learn nothing about alliances? The Warsaw Pact. The Soviets and their satellite nations formed their own alliance similar to NATO.